If you've been trying to break into tech through cybersecurity and you don't have a degree or experience and you've been getting certifications, you've been doing labs and you've been sending out hundreds or even thousands of applications without hearing anything back, I wanna tell you something that might surprise you. Cybersecurity is not the first step you should be taking. And I know that's not what most people on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram have been saying, but everyone's telling you cybersecurity, you can get it with no experience, but here's the truth. Cybersecurity isn't a beginner's sort of start. It's where experienced IT professionals really end up and after they've built real actual foundation. If you have no experience, the smartest, fastest way to break into cybersecurity is network engineering. Network engineering teaches you how systems actually connect, how data flows, and how the internet really works. And that's the foundation of IT, including cybersecurity and cloud. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly how and why cybersecurity is the wrong starting point and why network engineering is the best career path and how you can go from zero to landing your first high paying IT role without even a college degree. So now the first reason why you should not get into cybersecurity before networking is because you can't protect what you don't understand. And I always tell this to a lot of fellow people who want to get into cybersecurity. A lot of my friends want to do it. Cybersecurity, for whatever reason, is the field of choice for every single person who wants to get into tech that does not want to do programming. I don't know why, but let me tell you this. The thing with cybersecurity is you have to first understand what you're protecting. And most of the times, where is data the most um, unsecure? You have to really think about it. Is it un most unsecure in some sort of closet in a, in a data center? No, it's the most unsecure when it's traversing a network, when it's going from one place to another, from one data center to another, that in-between path where it's sending the traffic, that's where it's the most unsecure, where data can actually be stolen, where hackers can kind of come in and, and, and where data can be lost, right? That is exactly where, and that's why what networking pretty much does. Networking pretty much teaches you exactly what happens in the communication side of the internet. So for example, without communication, there is literally nothing. And for us to be able to communicate from one place into another, there, that, there needs to be a secure channel for it to happen effectively. And that's kind of what network engineering does. You're watching this video. The fact that you're able to watch this video in real time is because of networking, because it allows you to actually see the actual video, even though I have the video hosted somewhere on my computer that eventually went to a data center, uh, probably one of Google's data center that you're watching it from. So it's incredible how this works. But at the end of the day, that is why networking is extremely important. And, and, and a lot of people forget about it because they think it's hard. They think it's difficult. But trust me, if you learn it the right way, you're going to do extremely well in this particular particular industry. So that's why I recommend it for step number one is because it is a foundational skill in cybersecurity and you have to know what you're protecting. And if in networking is pretty much the most foundational part of cybersecurity, if you really think about it. So reason number two, networking jobs make you job ready faster. So the thing is, the problem with cybersecurity is that it's a very broad field, right? I took the CISSP certification and that certification is pretty much the gold standard of cybersecurity. And that certification is pretty much a mile wide and an inch deep because cybersecurity is a massive field. There's so many different places you can go from GRC to um, security analysts, security engineering. There's so many different areas that you can get into. And the problem is that it's going to be hard to pick a specific field, right? As opposed to learning network engineering, you can learn the, the foundational skill of networking. You can learn Cisco architecture. You can learn routing and switching. Once you learn that foundational skill, you're pretty much job ready to land your first job at NOC as a junior network engineer or as a network technician. Because a lot of the times the skills is quite easy to learn and is actually effective in the job market. And the more you actually think about it, networking is still a kind of a subset of cybersecurity, because if you guys know the CIA triad, one of them is availability and networking pretty much is availability, making sure I'm able, you're able to see this video, right? It, it's making, that's kind of what networking is. It's, it's being, it's being sent to you at some point. So that's kind of why our availability comes in in cybersecurity. So that's why it makes you job ready. It gives you the skills that you need. You learn subnetting, you learn routing and switching. You do a couple of labs, you do real, real world simulations of a network engineer, and you're pretty much going to be job ready, right? It, it's quite quicker. This is the field that I I started with, I literally had zero experience in this particular field. And I got my first ever uh, network engineering job with zero experience. So this is a, an excellent field, career field to get started in. And it absolutely changed my life. And it's a field that can literally take you from no experience to landing your first ever job. And the best part is it's less competition as well. Going into number three, the, the third reason is that there is much, much, much less competition. And this is a huge benefit because when there's less competition, that means it's easier for beginners to jump in. Here's the thing, competition is always going to be a problem for people who are beginners because there's tons of people who want to get into a particular industry. A lot of people, for whatever reason, want to get into cybersecurity, which is completely fine. Cybersecurity is an awesome career field. It's a cool career field, but at the end of the day, there are tons and tons and tons of people who are trying to go for that field. I'm pretty sure you look at the statistics. There are tons of people who are getting cybersecurity degrees.
degrees. And the problem with that is that they don't actually have the skills to actually get a job in that field. And there's tons of people applying for those jobs and, and they're completely lost, right? I've seen countless posts of people posting that they've applied to thousands of jobs in cybersecurity and have literally heard whisper. They haven't even heard a single interview. So that's the problem with it. As opposed to networking, many of my students literally have been able to land multiple jobs in networking quite easily. So it is an easier field to definitely break into, especially if you're brand new into tech, right? This is an awesome field. If you're someone who's new and wants that real world experience and actually land their first job, it's definitely going to be network engineering. And there's multiple different areas you can get into. You can get into junior network engineering positions, network technician, NOC, network analyst, network administrator. There's so many different areas that you can go into and it offers tons of opportunity. And there's a lot of growth within that as well. So reason number four is that networking is the backbone of cybersecurity. And I kind of already touched on this before, but there is literally no reason for cybersecurity without a network right? Because at the end of the day, that is kind of the reason why we have cybersecurity is because think about it, we have protocols such as SSL, such as TLS, such as HTTPS. These are protocols that are basically allowing us to connect to different places and sort of securing the channels, right? For example, you probably connected into a VPN, right? A VPN is pretty much a networking protocol that is used to allow us to sort of connect into a virtual private network. And the, the thing with that is you need that foundational skill to eventually get into cybersecurity. And it's a skill set that is going to take some time to learn. And if you haven't actually implemented it before and you try to jump into cybersecurity, you're, you're jumping too early. Trust me, guys, I know you want to get into that mountaintop of cybersecurity, but it's always seen as a senior level field, no matter what people tell you. I know there's going to be tons of videos on YouTube and people are all saying, oh, get a, get a cybersecurity job in 100 days. Just learn this, learn this, learn this. Trust me, guys, I've seen it. I've, I've worked in this industry for quite some time and I have yet to seen someone who go from zero experience to cybersecurity. It's very, very difficult. I have not met anyone in my lifetime that has ever done that. And if you are, please put yourself in the comment section below because I've never met you guys and I'm curious to see how you guys did that. But it's always best to start with networking because that is the backbone. Once you learn that skill set, it's going to be easy to transition. And that's going to go into step number five, which is that it is a smooth transition into cybersecurity once you learn network. Now, a lot of people kind of forget about this. That smooth transition comes from the ability to understand the basics of networking, right? You learn the networking, you learn the foundations, you learn routing switching, you learn TCP IP, you learn the OSI model, you learn all this cool stuff. You start building networks, you land your first job, you get some experience, you, you work in operations, you start troubleshooting. Once once you learn that skill set, it's going to be extremely easy to use that skill set and network to transition into a cybersecurity position. And the reason I say that is when you make that transition, a lot of the skill sets that are required for cybersecurity, you already have about 70%. Because really 70% of cybersecurity is going to be networking. You know, the other percent is pretty much the other extra stuff that you have to learn about, you know, maybe some, learn the SIEM tools, maybe learn some security concepts, maybe learn about, the, you know, certain security architecture that's not really involved in networking. But once you learn that, you're pretty much good to go to learning security engineer position, a network security position, maybe even a cloud security position as well. So there's, it's a seamless transition. Many people that I've known done that. Um, and the reason they do that is because cybersecurity does in fact pay more. And that is one huge advantage of cybersecurity. But here's the thing, it pays more because it's a senior level field. And ideally the, the best path would be you start at 70K, you make that 75 to 80 to 90K salary as a network engineer. Then you move on to a mid-level network engineer, making 100 to 120K. And then eventually at that point, after one or two years, you make that transition into cyber cybersecurity. And once you make that transition, you're, you're going to be making 150 to over 200K per year in cybersecurity. So that is the easiest way of doing it, in my honest opinion. And reason number six is that network engineering is still in high demand. Till this day, I get recruiters reaching out to me all the time saying, hey, Wally, we have a network engineer position here, here, here. Like all the time, I get recruiters that are reaching out to me for a particular position. So anyone who tells you, oh, networking is dead, networking doesn't work, there are no jobs in networking, it's completely false. A lot of me and a lot of my students have been able to successfully land jobs in network engineering with very little experience or no experience. So this is a career field that is still in high demand. Um, and it's it, it, like I said, it's a mature field that has always existed for, for quite some time. And it offers quite a bit of, uh, of leverage in your career if you if you learn this particular skill set first, right? I know many people who eventually came to the volition that, okay, cybersecurity, I can't land a job. I'm going to learn something else. And they learn network engineering. Once they learn network engineering, then they eventually transition out. It's almost, I see this happen time in and time again. It's almost comical how often this happens is, um, but once you le actually learn it, you realize that it's not that bad, right? So that's kind of the process right there. So now number seven, um, it's a very clear path on what you can can go into. So the thing with networking, it's very clear. You get your CCNA certification. You don't get the CompTIA Net Plus. You get the CCNA certification. You do a crap ton of labs on Packet Tracer using another software called EvenG or another software called GNS3. Once you do that, 
All you have to do now is practice interview questions, start interviewing and do more laps. It's that simple. Literally every position you're gonna know, have to know the OSI model. You're gonna have to know routing and switching. You're gonna have to know how to troubleshoot. So it's a much clearer path as opposed to cybersecurity, which is a very broad field and you end up going to be more confused, which I know a lot of people, the last thing you wanna be is confused when you're trying to get into a technical position. Trust me guys, confusion is going to waste you time and it's gonna give you even more heartache. And that's the benefit of networking. It's very clear. You know exactly which field you're gonna get into. And once you pick that field, you're pretty much good to go. So those are the reasons why I would pick network engineering over cybersecurity as your first field in tech. And trust me guys, if you take this advice, you are gonna have much more success than people who wanna jump straight into cybersecurity. If you guys wanna just go to straight into cybersecurity, then best of luck to you. And I wish you all the best if you, if you can pull that off. But uh, with that being said, everyone, that is the, the video that I have for you guys today. So now you understand why networking comes before cybersecurity. And if you skip that foundation, you'll get stuck. You'll get no callbacks, no interviews, and no clear direction. But if you take the right steps and start with networking and build labs, get hands-on experience, then specialize, you can land your first network engineering role in months, not years. And that's exactly what I teach inside my network engineering program. We'll help you build your first lab, master Cisco foundations, create a job-ready resume, and prepare for real interviews step-by-step -step until you land your first network engineering job. If you're serious about breaking into tech and want a roadmap that's already helped hundreds of people get hired, click the link in my description to join my network engineering program and so you don't have to waste another six months to guessing and learn networking the right way and start building a real career in tech. And with that being said, everyone, I really do appreciate your guys' time. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. And if you guys have any comments, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. But I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and peace.